In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the basics of completing the square. This is going to help us when we're trying to write quadratics in standard uh, form. So finding the vertex and axis of symmetry and graphing this thing are going to be made 10 times easier. So with completing the square, I'm only wanting to do this when I notice that this thing doesn't make a factor or a square itself. If we had x squared plus 8 plus 16, then yeah, we could have x plus 4 squared and it would make factors. But since it doesn't, I'm just going to follow my steps 1, 2, 3, and 4 in order to make this thing into a square looking term or standard form. So first step, change f of x to y so I can go ahead and say that this is y equals x squared plus 8x minus 2 and then move the constant term. Well my only constant term in this one is the minus 2 so I'm going to move that to the other side by adding it. So I have y plus 2 equals x squared plus 8x. Now I can actually complete the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say y plus 2 plus some number. Don't really know what it is. And on the other side, I'm going to add a number to this side. So 8x plus some number as well. I don't really know what that number quite is just yet. But here we go. We have add 1 half b squared to both sides. So b is our term right here, right next to the x. So we have ax squared plus bx plus c. So b is 8. 1 half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So I add 16 to that side. There's nothing on the outside of any parentheses. So I add 16 to this side as well. And then it's just a matter of simplifying. So then I know that this is y plus 18 on this side. And over here, this will factor as y plus 4 squared. The term right here is always going to be b divided by 2. It always should be if it works out correctly. Okay, if it's not, then go back and look at something. You may have just done a number a little bit wrong because we have 8 divided by 2 is 4, so I know I'm good. And then it's just a matter of moving over the 18. So if I subtract 18 from both sides, sorry. So I have y equals x plus 4 squared minus 18. Just don't forget to change this back into your f of x. And that's the only thing that we'd have to do different. So f of x equals all that stuff. Looking at another banana. Oh, I mean example. <laughs> My bad. I just got bananas on the mind. Uh, so this term, another thing that we have to keep in mind is we want a to equal 1. So a has to equal 1 when completing the square. Right now it's a 2. And I have 12 and I have f of x. So I'm going to go ahead and move over the 12 and change it to a y. So I have y minus 12 equals 2x squared minus 8x. So in order to make this into a 1 coefficient, all you have to do is factor out the 2. So y minus 12. And then you'll factor out the 2 to x squared minus 4x. And there we are factored out. So now I have my coefficient of 1. So it makes it a little bit easier, well, no, a lot bit easier to complete the square. So in order to do that, I have y minus 12 plus some number, I don't really know what it is, equals 2 times x squared minus 4x plus some number. Don't really know what it is quite yet. But remember, this is b divided by 2 squared, right? And that's what I'm adding to both sides. So my b in this one is negative 4. b divided by 2 is negative 2. When I square that, it's going to be plus 4. So I add 4 on the inside here. But notice, this is being multiplied by 2 on the outside. If you have parentheses, if you factor something out, you have to look outside the parentheses. So now this is 2 times 4, so I really added 8 to this entire side. So since I added 8 to that side, I must also add 8 to this side. And then it's just a matter of simplifying. So I have y minus 4, because negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4, and 2 times x minus 2 squared. And then just move over the 4 and change it back to f of x. So you'll have f of x equals 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 4. Now be it, there's our square. There's our vertex to 4. We can graph it easy. It's just a wonderful thing. This is the last example I'm going to look at for completing the square. If you have questions, just ask me in class. Uh, for this example though, again, we want to change f x to y, move over our constant terms, so I can say this is y plus 8 equals negative x squared plus 2x then this is not a 1, it's a negative 1, so I need to factor out this negative right here. So in order to do that, on my left side I still have y plus 8 equals negative, factor it out, x squared minus 2x, make sure you factor it out of every single term. 
Okay, so the plus, when I factor out a negative from a plus, it needs to change to a negative, because then I know that negative times a negative will give me a plus 2x right there. Okay, then our completing the square, y plus 8 plus some number, don't really know what it is, equals negative x squared minus 2x plus some number. Okay, b divided by 2, so negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is plus 1. So I have 1 in there. But notice on this side, I added negative 1. Because you got to look at the negative on the outside of the parentheses, so I need to do negative 1 on that side. So I have y plus 7 equals negative x minus 1 squared. And then again, change it to f of x and move over your 7. So f of x equals negative x minus 1 squared minus 7. And there it is, completed the square. Once again, just to check, I have negative 2. That is divided by 2, so b divided by 2 is negative 1. So there we go. We're done.